What's up, guys? Average Kiwi guy here. How y'all doing? So we're about halfway through the season of the, of the Defenders. We we're getting there. You know, we're getting halfway through. It's it's starting to pick up. Like episode three, they they stepped it up a notch. Would I say that episode four did? Not really. I think this one was more of a like kind of a chill out episode where they kind of want everyone to kind of get to know each other. Did it work? Yeah, I th it was okay. It was okay. It was an okay episode. We'll, we'll leave it at that. Um, so, Royal Dragon. And that's pretty much where they spent the entire episode. Uh, was in this restaurant. In this, I think it's a Chinese restaurant. Um, and them just sort of sitting down, laying the cards all out on the table, and basically everyone getting to know each other. And talent, like, basically bringing Luke and Jess up to speed with the hand like who the hand are what they do how dangerous they are and you know matt repeatedly saying like oh our loved ones are in danger our loved ones will be in danger our loved ones will be in danger it's like every single line he was saying was that it's like we get it matt you lost electra we get it just you don't need to keep repeating it you know so pretty much you know it starts right after the last one gets you know them sort of running away from um basically the hand hq and you know they come into this restaurant and they're like you know all freaking out matt's still got the damn scarf on and stuff like that and pretty much you know they have to hold up there and you know Basically, Danny drops some money on the restaurant owner, pays his rent for like a, I think it was about a month or so, and orders like everything on the menu, like four of everything on the menu. And yeah, they basically just, they sit down and they figure out what they're doing. And Stick comes along as well. After being a badass and cutting his hand off and like all the rest of it just rocks up and goes, yeah, what's up? Um, Danny, you're an idiot. You still have your cell phone on you. Like freaking smashes it. You know, all that stuff. Again, Danny just, he's not quite, he's very immature. I think that's, I think that's the problem with a lot, like a lot of people, you know, with Danny Rand is that he's very immature, but it kind of plays to that because, you know, to his character, because you got to remember he was out of civilization or out of the civilization we know for a very long time. And he, the, the last time he was in that civilization, he was a kid. So he's still got... The, He's got a very narrow-minded perspective, and he doesn't know much out of that. So I think that's the problem that a lot of people have with Danny Rand. I I personally don't have too much of a problem with him. He can be a little bit of an idiot sometimes, but I, I hopefully he gets better through this. Uh, like I'm hoping the defenders will grow him up a little bit. So we'll soon find out as we go through the um, the rest of the episodes, I guess. So basically from this they list they put everything out on the table um basically just you know matt's acting really weird doesn't want to take off the scarf and all that and that went on for a little you know basically the full like intro i guess of this episode and you know everyone's like why are you just taking the mat like thing off like enough and he's determined to like protect his identity but jess basically just takes him aside and goes yo matt i know you're daredevil I know you're the devil of Hell's Kitchen. Give it a freaking rest. Those two will eventually figure it out anyway. So we're all in this stuff together. Come join the team, essentially. Uh, which is a bit ironic, you know, coming from Jess. But, you know, she she put it together real easy. Like, real easy. Um, which kind of shows you how, you know, she's a decent detective. You know, a, you know, looking at it from the outside is not hard for us. But for someone who'd be in that moment she's a pretty damn good detective and it, it comes in hand i'm sure it's going to come in handy as you know they go through this whole thing and again that's kind of they're starting to see roles forming like matt's probably gonna be jess and matt are kind of like batman <laughs> like the, the two parts of batman uh jess is more the brains and the you know the detective side of batman where matt's that grisly kind of leader like guy that's he's the experience he knows what he's doing and he you know 
he's been there, done that sort of thing. So you kind of see those roles starting to come out um, in this team. So it was it's it's cool to see. Um, and he finally takes the damn scarf off and stuff. So, um, but yeah, Matt in this episode was a little. He, he was a little kind of like kind of like a spoiled brat in ways like you know he's constantly like oh you know we, we, you know the, the hand they'll, they'll take everything then you know the, it was he was very like you know defeatist and you know there wasn't much hope in him and i i, I know he's got his ass beat like a lot by the hand um a lot's been taken from him and it, it, he seemed like he was trying to talk everyone else out of you know going up it up against them which i guess like again it's like someone who's been there done it trying to get these young guys who have not seen it before I guess trying to like protect them but it, it grew old a little bit it, it grew old um but also it was also interesting to see how you know danny was learning stuff about you know kunlun and all that as well because basically you know sticks army the army that he was building the chaste it was an army for him it was the army for the for the iron fist to help defend kunlun and to to, to hunt the hand and all the rest of it it was built for him and um you know ba- basically the iron fist didn't know about them and they had never met the iron fist so it was a kind of a weird thing but now the army is completely gone so it doesn't matter it's 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 a done thing you know electra's gone through there and just ripped apart everything so yeah um and speaking of electra she's she, you know she's starting to realize who she is like there's you know moments where she sees like the stab wounds where she you know she got killed and you know i think she's starting to remember like what what sh- you know who she is what happened to her um that she's not just the black sky that she's actually you know electric nachios as well and you know there's a moment where she's going along she's sort of looking on the weapons and i looked up what those damn like fork things are called they're called psi they're called psi okay i looked them up i know what they <laughs> thank you wikipedia you you taught me what they are the sigh uh and she, she sees you know sees hers and she's sort of like looking at them and you know kind of moves along and stuff so she's getting there you know she's starting to see like who she is and you know where she's sort of kind of coming from and she's probably going to start asking questions at some point so that that's kind of cool but pretty much all this episode was just the defenders figuring each other out. Like, you know, are we going to be a team or not? And pretty much about halfway through, Jess is like, you know, after hearing all this stuff about the hand and, you know, you know how the, the, the five fingers of the hand were, were from Kanlan, but they got cast out because they were, you know, they figured out that they could live, um, you know, they, they, they could have immortality. You know, they, they found a way to live forever, but the, the elders of Kanlan, they, you know, they thought it was like a heresy. It was heretics. So they cast them out and, you know, they threw them out and exiled them. And that's where the hand comes from. You know, the five fingers, the, the five masters that got cut, cast out. So that's kind of cool. That's pretty cool. I, I like that stuff. And, you know, they started going in more into that stuff. And, you know, clearly, you know, Alexandria is one of those you know, these five, you know, they returned to their home countries and everything like that, you know, after they got cast out and, you know, so Alexandria is the leader of the hand, but she's one of the fingers. And then, uh, you, you also got Madam Gao. Uh, we also met another, fi- one, one of the leaders, uh, Murakame. Uh, he was the one behind Nobu. So that, that's kind of cool. It kind of linked up a few more. And also Sawande, uh, the, the white, basically white hat. You know, he he was one of the fingers as well. So that's kind of cool. And they also hinted at the fifth, that the fifth one was coming, you know, the, you know, some reinforcements or something were on the way. Pretty sure there's going to be Bakudo from um, Iron Fist. So for God's sake, you know, the hand, like no one ever dies. No one really ever dies in the hand. So, you know, we know Bakudo's coming back. So, all right. So, you know, it was... It was kind of cool to hear like all the history about that stuff and how like everything kind of works and where the hand came from and all that. So that was all good. And of course, after hearing all this, Jess is like, yo, I'm out. I'm out. I ain't in this. I don't need this. I'm gone. 
and you know luke tries to you know get her to stay and you can tell there's still a little bit of something something going on there like they you know definitely like some regrets of you know how things ended with those two are there um which makes sense you know there is you know actual story there between those two so that's that's kind of cool um uh, but he's he's done you know he she's done she's like no i'm 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 gone yeah i can't i can't take this stuff and like typical you know jess she goes off and drinks um maybe looks into things a little more goes and meets the architect's um wife again you know kind of talks to her and stuff and realizes she's been watched uh by the hand and puts a beat down on one of the hand uh hand guys there so that that was kind of cool and yeah it, she ends up coming back with a bit of a bang you know <laughs> so basically after all this stuff gets hashed out you know the you know they kind of sat down they kind of getting a plan together and you know none of them really trust each other like this this is this isn't a good team right now like the team's not there at all and i mean the hand shows up the hand shows up alexandra walks up you know like yeah come on we can talk this out how about we just talk you know come to an arrangement we we, all we want is what we want you let us have that no none of you none of you get killed i'll let you all go you know iron fist you come with me i'll let all your friends live i'll let all your friends live i'll even let some of the others live too like where you go like that that's it you know they're trying to um you know talk talk her out you know talk him into coming you know you know be the hero you know come come you know just come with us sacrifice yourself and everyone else lives it's fine um and of course sticks like yo if you go with her i will kill you where you stand like i you ain't getting out of here alive i swear to god i am i may be a one-handed old man and you may be the iron fist but i will kill you <laughs> you know stick man he's just he's just he's an old badass he's amazing and um yeah he they of course everyone says no like of course you can't have him and electra shows up yeah she's like oh okay fine black sky <laughs> and yeah so uh of course like you know matt's like oh like it's electra you know he, she, he can't sort of believe it is it me though like just just on a side note with matt is it me or is he twitching a lot in this ep in this season like i didn't through the other seasons through daredevil like season one and two i never noticed him twitching so much it feels like he's like constantly like all over the place with his face and i get it like you know he's kind of his hearing and stuff but it seems a lot more this time maybe he's more on edge or something or you know because he hasn't been daredevil for a while it's kind of all pent up maybe i don't i don't know it's, it just seems a little weird but yeah uh so electra's there they're like oh shit we're gonna have to fight electra now and in comes jess <laughs> boom gets her with a car and yeah that, that was you know and pretty much goes to black that was it you know obviously there's probably going to be a big battle like to get out of there and stuff definitely is going to be some interesting stuff with matt and electra we all know that uh we you see that coming a mile away especially now that electra is starting to remember like who she is and what's going on there so one to watch there i'm pretty sure um like i said this episode was really just uh you know they they brought it back down like they come up with a big hype you know right at that at the end of the last one uh, a lot of fighting in the last one you know they had that big hype right at the end of the last episode you know they're at midland circle and you know they're fighting all that that stuff you know all the rest of it and this one they they brought it back down again you know they brought it back down a lot of sort of exposition a lot of you know just answering some questions getting the team together establishing those those relationships and then hopefully next one they pick it up and it goes goes a lot better from there so cross our fingers there cross our fingers that it does pick up a little bit because we are halfway through the season now um kind of hoping it, it, it picks up a little bit um because it's been a bit of a mixed bag it really has it's been a bit of a mixed bag with defenders it hasn't you know 
been one sort of epic episode after another where you know probably daredevil and you know jessica jones and even luke cage you know they always had that you know boom 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 it always felt like it keep building up all the way through this one's kind of going up and down a little bit so we'll see we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes with the next few coming to the last part of the season it it, it better pick up <laughs> it better pick up that's 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 all we can say but yeah all right guys episode five will be out as soon as i watch it record it and edit it together i i will try my best uh to get it out as soon as possible okay all right guys i'll catch you later peace bye